So really the things that we see here at a clinic are going to be late radiation tissue damage. So people who've had radiation, treatment for cancer. Radiation is, can be effective at killing some of the tumor cells, but it also eradicates a lot of the healthy tissues, especially blood vessels. So hyperbarics is very useful in that. We also see it used a lot for diabetics who have specific wounds that get very deep, often down to the bone and they're at risk for amputation. So very useful in that range. Also helpful with cosmetic surgeries, plastic surgeries, where they create flaps and sometimes skin grafts. And if those are ever compromised from lack of oxygen, this is an amazing way to salvage those, keep the tissue alive while the body's healing. Another on-label or insurance cover condition is something called chronic refractory osteomyelitis, which basically just means a bone infection which hasn't responded to normal treatment. Bones are not very vascular, so it's very hard for antibiotics to get to the bones, and so they often become these chronic infections that never heal, so hyperbaric helps that. And the last insurance cover condition that we'll see here is going to be certain types of hearing loss. So there's something called sensory neural hearing loss which oftentimes involves not enough oxygen getting delivered to the inner ear and so it makes sense that if you put someone in a hyperbaric chamber that you could help have them hear again which is pretty powerful when it happens and when it works so those are the on-label things that we see that are insurance covered <laughs>